Nothing like being in the great outdoors. That's a fact. This is real and it's just totally crazy, but you gotta hear me, you gotta hang with me on this one. Okay, everybody's talking about the Mandela effect. Uh, this is uh, the craziest thing. Now listen, uh, it's changing stuff, you know, people have talked about like uh, the Baron, the Baron Stain Bears, right? You know, you've heard all of that and everybody was saying it was spelt with an E and people were flipping out over geographical changes and all kinds of things and time loops and and all this and that and I was working on a video uh, for CERN not for CERN but about CERN <laughs> and a book called uh, Clavis Inferni and how that all relates and anyway listen 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 you just gotta stay with me okay uh, but I got some proof on, on how some things have changed. I want to give you all something here. It's just sort of mind-boggling. But everybody's seeing it in... Uh, uh, and y'all go check it out. I mean, uh, don't take my word for it. Go study for yourself. But they're saying, you know, people can remember uh, certain logos on cars. Or they remember, okay, like for instance, uh, remember the Disney, Disney movie... Uh, uh, Snow White, you know, when she's standing there and she's looking at the the mirror and she says, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Well, it doesn't say that. The Star Wars fans, they say, you know, uh, when Darth Vader looks at me and says, Luke, I am your father. And it doesn't say that. It says, no, I'm your father. It says, magic mirror on the wall. Um, all of your memories and then the majority of people not everyone, uh, and depending on your age as to what you've seen or whatever. Remember uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Well, it doesn't say that no more. It says in this neighborhood. Things have changed. Now, here's why it's so important that you grasp this. And again, go do the research yourself on the Mandela Effect. But check it out. I know Scripture, okay? I know scripture. This is a, this is a point that I'm trying to make. Now this is old, old stuff. Okay, uh, Bibles and things like that. I know uh, going back into the old ones. Uh, this one's from 1966. It was a uh, family Bible my mom and dad had had. Um, you're looking, and I'm talking King James. Try and go with the King James version, okay? Because all these translations and stuff. Now just hang with me. This ain't about religion. You just gotta hang with me. And listen close. This Mandela effect that the people are seeing or, or experiencing. And when you go in there and do the research, I guarantee you, if your eyes are open, you're going you're gonna to have some, some memories that you have that aren't necessarily the same. Remember Chick-fil-A? It was C-H-I-C-F-I-L-A. Uh, uh, Chick-fil-A restaurants. Remember that? Well, it's not that. It's C-H-I-C-K. Um, there's a big thing happening here. I want to go into that more, but right now I just want to show you one of the changes that is uh, a serious one. In uh, Scripture, it talks about the Lord's Prayer. You know, everybody knows the Lord's Prayer. There's only two places it shows up. One's in Matthew uh, chapter uh, 6, verse 9. And it talks about there. And there it used to say, uh, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. You remember that. Okay, and over in Luke, it said pretty much the same. Our Father who art in heaven, uh, but there it said, Forgive us our debts, as we forgive those who de are our debtors. Um, doesn't say that now. In any Bible in the world, or at least in this reality 
and nobody's had access to your Bible. I've got Bibles and nobody's had access. Who, who, how can that be? You look back into history and everything. It doesn't say that now. Uh, go and read that in, in Matthew chapter. Go Just go read uh, Matthew chapter uh, 6 verse 9. And read the Lord's Prayer. There's another place. Uh, the, and this this is for the people that would study the Scripture or the ancient texts and things like that. That you might get some of it. But but what I'm trying to explain is this is proof of the Mandela effect because you can pick up any Bible. And those of you that know Scripture have got it written in your heart. It says, "Judge not, lest ye be judged." It doesn't say that anymore either. It doesn't say judge not. There's a place in Isaiah. Where it talks about where the lion will lay down with the lamb. Well, they changed that. Now it says the wolf will lay down with the lamb and the leopard with the young goat. Really. It uses words that are new. Uh, over there in Luke, in uh, chapter 17, the word stuff, if those that were up on the, their housetops, not to come down and take anything out, but to flee. Well, it doesn't say take things out now or your possessions. It says stuff. S-T-U-F-F. -F. doesn't matter how old your Bible is. Now it says stuff. Every Bible in the world says it all of a sudden. Now, this is ridiculously crazy. But I'm telling you, I know my scripture here. And one of the things is, is over in Matthew. I wanted to look, but I found proof of it. But I wanted to show you this. you got to see this. Uh, given back in November 1966. Um, it's an old, just one of these old family Bibles, you know, right? Okay, check this out. Um, this is this is crazy. Over in Matthew. Let me get there and then I'll turn it back on here. Yeah, just to yeah, this is in Matthew 9 and chapter 17. Now, I want to show you something. This is an old King James Bible. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. It didn't say bottles. It said wine skins. Neither do men put new wine into old wine skins. Check this out. Some of the things that have changed, but not everything. I've got this book. This, again, I've got all these books. So it hasn't affected all the books, but this isn't an actual Bible. This is Find It Fast in the Bible. So when you go in here, and you look up for the old... Old wineskins. Same place I just read to you. Matthew 9.17. It says, Nor do people put new wine into old wineskins, or else the wineskins break. The wine is spilled, and the wineskins are ruined. It says it in Mark 2.22. 2, no one puts new wine into old wineskins, or else the new wine bursts with the wineskins. The wine is spilled, and the wineskins are ruined. Mark 2.22. Let's look that one up in here real quick. Mark 2.22. Let's see. Mark 2.22. Look at this. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine doth burst the bottles, and the wine is spilled. They didn't have bottles in it. It would have been the wine skins. And there's other places that this has changed. They haven't changed every book. And advertisements, they haven't changed. This is where you call me crazy, and that's fine. But people that know these scriptures that are written in their heart, you can see if you study this Mandela effect and see what's going on, all of the things. Remember uh, the mirror, mirror on the wall, or the the, the different movie uh, lines that have been spoken. The the, the baseball thing it says, uh, "We build it, and they will come." It doesn't say that now. You go watch any version of it. It says, uh, "When you build it, he will come." Some strange things, all these little changes, little words, little letterings, the barren stained bears. You go in there and look, everybody remembers the E on it. I remember that because I said barren stein and my dad, he said, well, it's spelled like barren stein. My dad's passed away now a long time, but barren stein, and he said, it should like Frankenstein. And I said, no, it's barren stein. That's the way it was. I used to get their comic books. It's Berenstein. Now everything says Berenstein. S-T-A-I-N. All these little changes that so many people are aware of. Now again, 
a certain age bracket it cuts off they don't know the difference they haven't experienced it and people say oh it's just your memory look one thing i got down pat i know the scripture and i also i got enough books to back it up i mean this one hadn't been changed yet and the things that they're changing out there to to try and manufacture but it, it's it's a mind boggle when you know the scripture the lion laying down with the lamb now it says wolf Go look in your Bible and check that out over there in Isaiah. I mean, I'm telling you, the things have changed. A new dimension to port. This is all about CERN. I'm trying to explain that. Okay, I, I, I'm just going to throw that out there to you. Look into the Mandela Effect. And for those of you that are Bible lookers and things like that, if there was ever some delusion on the earth right now, you need to go look, because now your memories aren't what they once were. And I'm telling you, it applies to so many things. So many things that people aren't even aware of. Everything from geological, there's uh, people talking about they used to have to take the ferry over to Staten Island up there. But there's a bridge there now. Most people don't even know or didn't even remember. People living right there in New York didn't know that bridge was there, but it's there. Crazy things, man. There's a great thing happening, but here's what bothers me because there's a lot more changes in that bible a lot of them and it doesn't matter what bible you go the one i normally will read out of doesn't matter which one you look at and how many other books have been changed the words and lettering and how they've done it this is that great delusion that great deception that's coming upon the earth there's something happening here and it is a mind boggle now i mean we're talking a walk through the twilight zone it's amazing. It's an amazing time. They call it an enlightenment, maybe, or, or the awakening, or something like that. But I'm telling you what they're doing at CERN. And I've got, I've got proof on that. I've been trying to work on getting a video to you. I want to get you that. And if I'm alive long enough and I can pull all this off, I'll try to. But I'm telling you, those of you that know your Bible, that know the word was trespasses, it ain't there now. Now the trespasses words down there in Matthew on the Lord's Prayer is down below that. So they just changed it to debt and debtor, and the, in the, in the Matthew one was the trespasses. So after you read on down, then they use the word trespasses there. It's, it's just crazy. It's crazy. But listen, don't be disheartened. When you get in there, those that are reading their Bibles and stuff like that, that know these scriptures by heart, when you get in there and see these things, don't let it boggle your mind that the changes have been made that way. But I'm telling you, there's not a Bible on the earth, at least not in this reality, not in this dimension. They did it. They've succeeded at what they were trying to do. And that may just be the first run or the first couple of runs. There's more coming. And it's going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy. I'm telling you. But you got you got to hear what I'm... I mean, this is, this is facts. This isn't no conspiracy theory. Go look in any Bible now and see. All those that knew... I mean, how many kids grew up? Even if you're atheist, a lot of them grew up with the idea they knew the Lord's Prayer. For goodness sakes. It's changed. There's other things changed in there too. Some key ones. Some key ones. Y'all go check this stuff out, man. It's crazy. One last thing. I'm going to leave some links on the bottom. Uh, some other videos that have been put out that will explain the Mandela Effect or people that are having the same experiences. Uh, and there's some that you can go and test yourself and see where your memory lies to see what existence you're in right now. Because I mean, this is some crazy stuff. It does. It makes you think... Am I losing my mind? And I know good and well I'm not because there's some things you know in your heart and you know for a fact beyond a shadow of a doubt. You, your, your young memory, your long-term memory is stronger and works better than your short-term memory. But uh, I wrote a lot of it off like the Fruit Loops and the Looney Tunes and, and all these different things. They were talking about the changes on the, the different names. I figured, you know, well, it's new marketing, new age, you know, everything changes as it goes. But look, how that every one of the Bibles in my house has changed within days is an impossibility. And yet it is. Look in yours. You'll see what I'm talking about. So I'll leave you some links to check out some of this stuff. The Mandela Effect. Then you can find out what's really going on at CERN. Uh, I'll try and get a, a, a video out explaining all of it because there's just so much. It's just crazy. It's crazy. Y'all? Don't get too worried about it. Don't let it over overwhelm you because it's like a walk through the twilight zone. This is truly a walk down into a rabbit hole. Hang tough. Wanted to add this on too. This is a 1611 Eldingish style. 
uh, over in Luke uh, chapter uh, what chapters are these? I'm never given Roman numerals. D.C. 17, 18, I guess it's 17, yeah, chapter 17, that's right. Um, in chapter 17, and this is the Old English now, the original 1611 edition, right? And even here it says, uh, In that day, let's see, shall be uh, upon the housetop and his stuff in the house. S-T-U-F-F-E, really? In that one, it even changed and put stuff there in the Old English? Now, watch this. Check this out. I'm talking about in the New King James Version, okay? Uh, I wanted to check there too, just to be certain, right? And three, where we was talking about the wineskins. Now, this is crazy because here it said bottles before. In the new one, the revised version of the New King James, it says, nor do they put new wine into old wineskins or else the wineskins break, the wine is spilled, and the wineskins are ruined. But they put new wine into new wineskins, and both are preserved. Now, the the uh, the Lord's Prayer we was talking about, that's still the same in, in the old or the new. But it's it's different, it's flipped, because the old one, the original ones, had the wineskins. And now it says bottles in the original King James Version. You have to check. If you're in the new King James Version, now it says wineskins where it said bottles before. And so, again, if you go over there to chapter 6 and uh, verse 9, let's see, I'm trying to see here on this. Uh, bear with me, bear with me. 6. That's why I don't like these new ones, but I keep them. I've got new, revised, international editions and all of them, but I, I go by the original. That's why I prefer, but uh, here we go. Uh, it was in chapter 6. We was talking about verse 9. When he's talking about it, says, Therefore do not be always see in verse 9. In this manner, therefore pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, it just says our Father in heaven. This is the new one. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. It was thy in, in the old. On earth as it is in heaven. Uh, that that was the right part. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Now again, this was the one that was in Luke originally, but now it's in Matthew. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil, from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now that's in the new version. But again, uh, in the original, it was, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Remember, forgive us our trespasses. So anyway, y'all go look it all up. Have fun with it. Welcome to the Twilight Zone.